afternoon students good afternoon sir so what's going on everything good yes sir so first of all sit down thank you sir okay stand once again yes, sit down thank you sir okay so i hope you all are having a lunch right yes sir okay. so today you know we are going to start a new topic right so before that let me interact little bit okay so today's topic as we say select that is integer okay before starting integer let's discuss little bit about the basic fundamentals of mathematics like suppose mainly arithmetic here now so what is natural number how many know you about this natural numbers okay very good very good okay now start little discussion about the natural number basically it is the number which we use to count any practical object that we call natural numbers like that how many pens we have here two right how many you know pages we have here so when we count this kind of things so this is called natural count by using which digits we count this number those are called natural numbers okay so if natural numbers okay come with a zero in front like suppose this 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on these are the natural numbers which we are used to count natural objects okay a practical object but when this natural number come with a zero in front then it is called a whole number very good why because zero is present nothing or none in space but we still need zero in our counting right like suppose if zero sit in front of any natural number it doesn't mean anything but it is sit behind or after any natural number then we put the value of that natural number then. so that it is countable so now the thing is when we add zero with a natural number then it is come a whole number so anyone have any doubt regarding this natural number and whole number of figure no sir okay very good this all are old topic now a new thing is right in the board how many of you read it this is negative number okay now what is this negative number let's find out so basically so the number which is less than 0 we consider those number as negative number the number which is less than 0 now in the use case if you see you know the temperature of the arctic regions right there is always minus 20 degree celsius minus 30 degree celsius minus 40 degree celsius like that but why they represent those in minus because the temperature of the region are less than zero okay so if we have a circle or any line like that right so if we consider any basic status as zero the positive number or general number we use to count natural number or whole number they are come with without any sign is there come with any sign no, no. so those are natural number or we consider as with zero whole number but the number which are come with a symbol that is negative number or negative symbol is the come with is called the negative number now if you look at here in the board okay so now i am going to draw one number line so if i start this one i take this one as a zero so this side if i write one two three so these are i write in minus or negative number so what are the fundamentals or what is the fundamentals of negative number let understand now if you look at zero zero if we consider as a null or nothing right if we going to the left side of zero we got first negative number that is negative one then after negative two negative three but if we consider their value when the negative one is greater than negative two negative two is greater than negative three why this is ever you think about it like suppose if i tell the temperature of simla or something uh, in a place a cold place like it is uh one five degrees centigrade right and as compared the manali or somewhere the temperature is minus 2 degrees celsius now which temperature is lesser minus, minus 
story is over here. If that same way, when it's gone down, minus 2 after minus 5 degrees Celsius. So minus 5 degrees Celsius is lesser than minus 2 or bigger than minus 2. Lesser than minus 2 because it seems to be cold as compared to that temperature. So that means when we go left from the zero simultaneously, the value falls down. Value going to decrease, yeah, right? Even if I go left to right, the values are going decrease. Decrease or increase? Increase. Value is increase. So on the basis of that, if we have compare the negative number to another negative number, so we will find out the phenomena. Like for the positive number or normal natural number which we discuss, there the big number or big digit always with bigger value. But here it seems opposite, right? Like suppose if I compare minus 4 and minus 3, which one is bigger? Minus 3. Minus 3. Minus 3 is bigger, right? But if we erase the symbol or turn them into positive, then? 4 is bigger. So that means we should understand that the phenomena of negative number is quite opposite of the positive number. Okay? So the negative numbers always, you know, come with big value which are small in C. It's clear? Anyone have any doubt regarding it? Okay. So now after this, so we got to learn two different types of number patterns. Natural number, whole number and then negative number. Now, just one thing, if they have a platform, if we just join all these numbers together, so what will happen? Actually, that's the thing is called integer. Integer just but a collection of this all number. Integer just a collection of natural number, zero and negative number. If we connect all these numbers to a platform or to a mathematical sector, that is called integer. Yeah. So clear? Okay. So, if we are going to write integer, we can write the integer is a collection of number which contain whole number and negative number. But look at here. Here I didn't mention about the natural number. Am I here mention about natural number? No. Why not? Yeah. Very good. So that means what are the natural numbers? Some is zero. Now they become whole number. So whole number as well as with negative number, it's integer. But behind this, there are two more different types of numbers, right? So we call it two, like 1 by 2 and 1 point, if I write this, this is called which kind of number it is? Fraction. And this is integer. But fraction are decimals of the different mode of number, which are not included in integer. So the integer is limited, okay? It only considers whole number and negative yeah. number. There are no fraction or decimal. Clear? Okay. So, now we already know about the integer. Okay. Anyone have any doubt up to here? No, sir. Okay, very good. Now, discuss about the type of integer. So, we have two types of integers. It's already visible in the board if you see. One is positive integers and another one is negative integers. So what is positive integer? It's quite obvious which of the integers are sum with a positive symbol. But it's not needed to always them come with a sign. If any digit or number come without symbol, that we also we can consider as a positive integer. But for negative integers, yeah, very good. For negative integers, it needs to have a negative sign and then. So basically we can say if we consider zero as in center, the positive number always greater than zero. The positive number always greater than zero. And in vice versa way, the negative integers are always smaller than zero. Okay. Small the negative integers always smaller than zero. Okay. Very good. <coughs> okay, now up to here we already learned about integers, right? How integers form, okay, what is negative integers, positive integers. Now one thing, you know, I have a mind about what is the use of this integer? Or what is the importance of it? Yes or no? So what is, what is in which way I can use this integers? So integers, you can say, is a mother form of so many things. Like suppose, 
look at this picture first of all. Here we, you know, find out the serial number, right? So suppose we can use the integer as a perimeter or as a scale to find out the depth as well as the altitude of the bird, right? Right here, I use integers to find out the sea level. Not only that, for temperature, in thermometer, okay, if you look at it, there also they use, fully use, personally follow the concept of integers. Yes or no? Okay, zero degree centigrade, if it is increased, it will be positive. If the temperature is going down, so we represent through the negative. It's clear? Okay. In the same way, in debt, you know, you know about the debt, what do you do? You know, withdraw money, right? Or borrowing money to someone. So how we can express the status mathematically? How we can express? Like you have to give, you know, some money to bank or somewhere. So for that reason, or that status, we can represent through negative. Like someone took 10,000 uh, rupees borrowing from somewhere. So on that status, we take, we have to return that 10,000 rupees bank. So now, <laughs> These are the use case of integer. Okay. Now, come to that. The representation of integer. How we can represent it? So look, all those use cases, we saw a scale. Yes or no? So a scale. So is integer, that is called the integer number line. So in that integer line, how it form, which are the most important, important, important things of the integer. Now let's understand. So, in a number line, first you have to draw a line like that. Okay, so the center we keep zero. So the zero, the whole number zero I keep in the center. The right side of it representing the positive integer. As well as left side of it representing negative integer. Okay, for better understanding, let to the help of this model. Right? So what is this? The number integer code. So in integer code, if you look here, so we have one integer number 9. So this is 0. So this is which side? Positive side. This is right side. And this one? Negative. So in negative side, since left side, we represent all negative number. In right side, a positive, we represent all positive number. So this is called an integer both. So we can represent any number or any kind of form or through this number line. Like suppose, a temperature of a particular place is 3 degrees, positive 3 degrees Celsius. So we should move the cursor toward positive 3, we can 